Hi there. We are going to be making tilapia. We're going to make up a breading. We're going to cook it in the air fryer and it's going to come out crispy and delicious. The air fryer that I am using is a Cook's Essentials 5.3 quart. Just keep in mind if you have a different air fryer, the cooking time may vary. With that, let's go ahead and get started. I have a half of a cup of all-purpose flour. I did season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. One beaten egg and a half of a cup of panko breadcrumbs. I've been debating if I wanted to do this and I figured I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I took seven Ritz crackers, put it through my food processor and got them all nice and crumbled up. I'm going to go ahead and add that to our panko. I'm going to season our breadcrumbs with this Creole seasoning. I'm going to add about one and a half teaspoons and give that a good mix. And I have two tilapia fillets. I rinsed these under cold water and patted them dry with paper towels. So we're going to go into the flour first. And then the beaten egg. Drip off the excess. Then into our breadcrumbs. These are pretty good sized fillets. If you're going to be doing more, you're obviously going to need to add more panko and Ritz crackers. I actually was going to add some grated Parmesan cheese to this, about a fourth of a cup, and I totally forgot. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do the other one, and I'll be right back. Okay, before we add our fillets, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the basket with some olive oil. We're gonna add our fillets. Now again, I'm gonna take the olive oil and spray the top of our fillets. All right, let's go pop these into the air fryer. I have this set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. We are going to start off with halfway through. We're going to check them and possibly flip them over. Okay, we are five minutes in. And I can never get the lighting right for you all on this angle, but this is a light golden brown. I'm going to go ahead and flip these over. The lighting is a little better here. Flip these over. I'm going to go ahead and spray this side a little bit with some olive oil and then we're going to pop these back in. Okay, I'm going to let these go the last five minutes and then we'll see if we need to add any more time or not. Okay, our five minutes is up on the other side and I think we are going to need to go a little bit longer. So what I think I'm going to do is flip these over one more time and let these go an extra three to four minutes. Okay, I have these flipped and we're going to go four more minutes. They'll give us a total time of 14 minutes. Okay, our four minutes is up. That's looking good. All right, I'm serving this up with some coleslaw. If you are interested in that recipe, I'll put the link to that in the upper right hand corner. Let's go ahead and cut this open. That was really good. <laughs> that turned out really good. I think the only thing that I would do differently is add a little bit more of that Creole seasoning, like another half a teaspoon to teaspoon. It's flaky and delicious. And it's also crispy. I don't know if you could hear that when I took my bite. If you like this video, you might want to check out this one here. The one below that is what YouTube thinks you would like to watch next. I hope to see you over there. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.